praise the lord praise the lord today i am in the 21st part of my life story and i start off saying i need god in every moment in every single moment of my life you would have seen through the past 20 episodes how could i live this life without god's presence even as i write today this part 6th of march 2015 for a moment i was wondering how i could have gone through all these things if not for this god i need god in every single moment of my life suddenly this morning when i was going to my meditation i was reminded of the scripture passage that was uh, preached by reverend lysin de silva on the 25th of uh, january 2012 that's the uh, that's the service i told you next day i had this uh, call from my former employer asking me to come back uh, romans 6 6 romans 6 chapter 6 verse 6 for we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body so that the body of sin might be done away with that we should no longer be slaves to sin so this is the message that he preached and he said believe that my old self of suffering is crucified so these are the great words of this great preacher the great anointed servant of lysin ever and lysin de silva uh, what he pray what he preach my old self self of suffering is crucified i believe that word and next day i saw the result uh, you know as i said this life had been a bit of a struggle yesterday right dinusha was very bad we had a we had a sleepless night yesterday and for a moment i was thinking you know what's really going to happen uh, we had to do a emergency uh, dialysis yesterday and uh, we saw uh, she condition was pretty bad and even after coming out of the dialysis you know it was not a good picture at all pressure was very high to something like 120 200 and um, face was swollen everything was bad and for a moment i was just wondering am i losing this battle even this morning when she got up uh, i came i got up and when i came she is getting ready to go to office but simply i believe she cannot go she is so weak she is so bad she cannot even stand firm then in the facebook i get this message yesterday night the battle is the lord the battle is the lord these were the very words that were spoken by reverend theodo pereira 27 years back to my life when i was going through all the crises the battle is of the lord like 1 samuel chapter 17 verse 47 so i took this words and in fact i suggested that she stay home tonight this morning uh, this uh, friday morning but uh, she said no i will go to office you know i think she believes that change of environment also probably give big give her. so we believe we hope we hope that Uh, the the lord will battle it out because i believe in, in a, as a, from a human point of view i'm on a losing battle uh, we are short of funds very very heavily at this moment of time um, and um, we don't see a kind of a end but i know my god is strong and he will battle it out for me so i just want to be humble before him uh, doing what he tells me i want to be a naaman i want to be a naaman I want to bend it seven times over, right? Whatever that God says, I will do it. I need God in every single moment of my life. I told you yesterday I made a, a kind of a mistake on last December twenty, uh, last uh, April twenty fourteen, uh, the Good Friday, the Holy Week, going and spending two hours earlier. I think it's something which I should not have done. So I'm not sure. I'm sure. Uh, again going by reverend as in the last that uh, message that was uh, uh, preached again i believe my old self of suffering is crucified 
that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be done away. I believe uh, God has forgiven me and I want to be refreshed fresh today once again. Um, uh, you know, before I come to uh, Dinusha's sickness and all that, I want to uh, thank God. In uh, 2013 December, I told you, I think December, uh, sorry, 2013 was comparatively a, a better year for all of us. Uh, relatively less problems. As I said, we had a job, I had my tuition, Dinusha was married, everything was going up well. So, uh, in December 2013, even we had a good trip to uh, uh, Earth's Regency, Candy. Uh, you can see the old couple here. Uh, particularly, uh, I had to pay a tribute to my wife, Ruchini. You know, she had gone through all these things. Uh, she's been, sometimes in a way, I believe she's been unfairly criticized, saying that, you know, I got converted because of her. Actually, it is not so. I was eight years married before I came to know Jesus Christ and you know it's a very unfair criticism that every time when we have problems uh, she's been uh, uh, taken for task by some people uh, saying that she converted me and that is why all these problems are. But truly I believe in this thing. I need God in every single moment of my life. So uh, we had a good time in December. Uh, 2013 in particular Dinusha's uh, wedding anniversary uh, we had a we had a time uh, celebrating Dinusha's wedding anniversary in uh, in uh, Earth's Regency Candy this time uh, Hirusha and Sanjeeva and the two kids they were in India because Sanjeeva was working in India so they were not here but as soon as they came in January my little granddaughter Shihania tells me See, yeah, you took them to a agency, take us also. So again, praise the, God, praise the Lord. January 2014, we once again went to a agency with Chihania and Sanjeeva. Uh, that time, Chamara and Dinusha, they have gone elsewhere on another trip. So we had another trip, December 2013 and January 2014. Again, within one month, the God is wonderful. God has been amazing. So uh, we had a uh, uh, beautiful uh, time at, uh, at uh, Earth Regency and um, I think that was one of our most uh, enjoyable times that we have been having in the recent past. So uh, this was uh, this was the December 2013 short uh, where we were, you know, celebrating. Uh, I want to pay a very special tribute to a, a great man in my life. This is, uh, you see here is uh, Sanjeeva's uh, father, uh, Seniviratna. Uh, Mr. Seniviratna, he has been a former uh, police officer. Uh, that is, this is Sanjeeva's uh, father and Sanjeeva's mother, Mithirusha. Uh, this uh, person, Mr. Seniviratna, you know, when I was taken to CID on the 30th of October 2007, uh, the, the the plan was to mercilessly, mercilessly assault me at the CID, and they were get, they were ready for it because I, while I was going, I could hear them saying, "Gain up the So, and they were talking to the, the the officials of the public sector also whilst I was being taken. So everyone was you know having a ball, but this man contacted the very CID officer who was trying to assault me, the OIC in charge of that particular branch and uh, that apparently that OIC had been a junior under him and uh, they knew. So this great man, Seniviratna, Mr. Seniviratna, uh, he saved my life that day and I also want to uh, glorify uh, Sitaka, that is uh, Sanjeeva's mother, you know, uh, she is another great lady. She came to see me in the prisons with food. So uh, actually, I'm very thankful to my, uh, you know, my uh, children, their in-laws, parents, Rohan and Shamali uh, of Lakmali. They were really great. They were prepared to uh, understand our problems, uh, change the wedding dates. Then uh, Sanjeeva's parents, Nimiratna and Sitaka, 
they have been really really great they have uh, you know done everything possible caring for us and you know giving that word and uh, uh, his uh, other son deepta is married to my niece dilan dinali she was very much involved in trying to give me all the legal assistance that was necessary then uh, uh, i yesterday i spoke about uh, chamara's parents uh, you know giving their only daughter uh, sacrificing you know or, sorry only only son to dinusha uh, so you know we have to be very very thankful to all these people they have been great great uh, so i i'm really thankful to god for all these uh, wonderful people that he has given us in our life so uh, these are some memories that i have as i remember these memories i want to thank god for another uh, great memories i have when i left that public sector institution you know there were nice farewells and all that but i i i want to remember one particular card which i uh, which i received from one of our one of my uh, uh, subordinates uh, chief accountant this is krishma ponsu uh, this i treasure it too much it was on the 4th of march 2005 the day that i will live in that place god bless it shower on you and all your family on this new journey from your loving sister krishma so uh, this is i treasure it very much uh, she is a christian lady and uh, she is the person who, who when i was in going to trouble who told me that she has seen it in a vision that i should start tuition uh, after that probably you know because of all the the institutional problems uh, she kept away from me but i still consider her as my sister and i love her and i you know um, i always will bow down because it was her vision that was bringing me all the income and that is what uh, made uh, dinusha's wedding possible so thank you krishma uh, for a Um, this is something which i appreciate all the time i keep this as a very uh, memorable thing uh, probably the day that i go to lord uh, my children will read this thing and also i want to uh, talk about the certificate that was given to me by my general manager the time i left so you can see the people now talk about uh, you know uh, frauds and all that but you can see the letter that he gave me right so uh, there were fifth assistant general managers chief accountants consisting more than 50 executive officers is an a grade government corporate including several funded projects kumar being the senior most executive head handled all these functions effectively till to the entire satisfaction of the management is this board he possessed has contributed immensely to the development of the board in every sphere of activity what more my dear brothers and sisters this is coming from the general manager and he says he designed for the betterment of his career so this is something which i treasure once again once again something which i will leave it with my children the day that god calls me but mr vikram again i'm very thankful because you knew exactly what i have done and this letter is something which i treasure and also something you know, my uh, uh, secretaries what of girls but this is what they told me you are a gracious manager to water board and particularly we appreciate the sentiments but it was possible only due to the cooperation support we received from you we two cherish many each other long period of 9 years a challenging fruitful period and we shall be always with you as friends in need well some of these human words you know we have to we have to discount it none of them are there with me at this moment of time but i appreciate their words these are little this is again 4th march of 2005 these are great things which i process one day which i will leave it and go because god has been good for us so anyway but i need is god in every single moment of life it so happened as i told you immediately after that uh, uh, trip which was surely not god's will which was not 
something which was pleasing to God, uh, we had disaster coming one after the other. Uh, the first of, uh, the, just at the end of April, uh, Rashinka fell off and uh, he had a nasty fall and, uh, you know, he was warded in the Colombo Durden's hospital. Um, the doctors were keeping him under observation because the head was uh, numb. So that was actually the starting point of disaster after that train. Then immediately what we saw was uh, first of May dawned to see our domestic who was there has eloped early morning first of May. So that was another uh, kind of a, a difficult uh, scenario here. All these things happening one after the other. Then the dead deep blue. The dead deep blue. 9th of May 2014, as usual, Dinusha went to work in the morning. I also went, all of us went. But when I came in the evening, I was told that Dinusha is complaining of some pain and Chamara is uh, bringing her home and they checked the pressure and the pressure was high and the OPD doctor, whoever who has checked her on their way from office, has told to rush her to the hospital. So they came home. And they took certain clothes and everything. And, uh, you know, with Roshini, they went back to the hospital to see Dr. Somaya. And, um, and uh, Dinusha was in pain. And normally, Dinusha does not want to get admitted to the hospital. But that day, she said, uh, better get admitted. So, she was admitted. But immediately, as she was taken at the emergency of the Lanka Hospital, they were they told that her pressure is very high and she was rushed to the intensive care unit. So when we went in the night, she was in the intensive care unit. None of us could see her. And next morning, Dr. Somaya came, 10th of May 2014. And the news that we had was both the kidneys have, start, have failed to function. 9th of May, she was just normal going to office and 10th of May 2014, within, you know, few hours, her world was shattered, our world was shattered, and Dr. Somaya says, both the kidneys are not working. And uh, I remember we did not know what is this creatinine level and all that, but uh, so uh, they checked it and they said 6.2. He did not know what is the normal rate, but to see it is something like one point something, and 6.2 was very, very high. Uh, so uh, it was a bit of a, it was very tough start. I mean, something totally unexpected. Here we are, we are on a, a roller coaster after all the problems, and now suddenly we find, again, we are in a kind of a battle, uh, you know, we, I knew that this battle, I cannot fight it. I knew that I cannot fight it because the doctor said immediately, the next thing what she has to undergo is the dialysis. And after the dialysis, you, know, you have to think of transplant and all that. So she was kept in uh, intensive care unit for a couple of days. And then uh, she was discharged. And the doctor wanted us to have our time over her and tell us, uh, went to start dialysis and all that. So she was discharged, brought home, but she was very, very bad. And, uh, you know, we started praying. I informed all the people. So I remember um, uh, somewhere in May 2014, uh, I invited some of my few friends to come for a prayer time. Uh, first to come was my good friend, Lucky Piris. He came early morning to to have to have a prayer time. By that time, again, Dinosha was bad. So, uh, Roshini and Chamara and Hirushka then took Dinusha back to the hospital. But, uh, uh, so, I, I had a prayer time with uh, my good friends. I remember Shadwell White uh, coming up. I simply cannot remember who were there because my mind was not really working at that time. I think uh, Raju came. Uh, Lilanti came, uh, you have to forgive me if I forget some of these people, but a uh, few of those people came and we had a prayer time and Dinusha was pretty, pretty bad. That was somewhere around about 14th of May 2014. 
So again, she was admitted to Lanka Hospital, again intensive care unit, and uh, then the doctor said uh, we have to start dialysis. So the, they had to do a, a kind of a uh, they had to put an insert uh, insert a kind of a tube from her neckline to do the dialysis. So it was done, and uh, you know I remember she you know, she was crying. She was crying so much that you know. It was a very, very emotional moment for us because we knew dialysis means it's a lifetime scenario for her. We were, you know, helpless at this moment of time. But we had to go through because that was the only way Dr. Somanya could have saved her life at that time. So dialysis process started. She was kept in the hospital. Every other day it was dialysis. And bills were soaring. Uh, we we knew that we are into some you know a kind of a situation uh, where things are going to happen. Um, thank God I had a little bit of money at that time because uh, you know I was doing tuition. I had my uh, classes working and, and my, I was working also in the company. But the company was also going through tough times, and I knew that my stay in that company is not going to be too long because the company was uh, going through a lot of problems at that time. Uh, so all those things came up. And one day, I remember uh, Dinusha was very bad. We had to rush her in the night. And, uh, you know, it was around about 11 o'clock in the night, if I remember. She was pretty bad, pretty bad. Only myself and uh, Chamara and Roshini. Chamara was, uh, you know, he also could not face it. He was uh, Samya and Roshini was, uh, you know, uh, crying. She said that she can bear up anything, but not this. We knew uh, she is going to the Death Valley at that time, uh, at that moment of time. I remember it was a very struggle, a lonely night, uh, somewhere around about the 15th of May 2014, I think. It was a lonely night for us, a long night. And one lady, I want to pay a very great tribute to this girl, uh, one of our cousins, well, that is actually uh, Malik's uh, sister-in-law, uh, Christina David, I call her Marianne. Uh, Marianne, uh, she was on the on the Facebook, on the mag, on, on a chat. And she kept me up till 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, sending message after message, scripture after scripture, uh, keeping me up, you know, not allowing me even to cry about. I knew Dinusha's life is coming to an end. And that was on the 15th of May, 2014. She was in the dialysis. The pressure was up. They had to. They could not do the dialysis. They had to stop it and wait. So that was the scenario, and she could not breathe. Roshini on the other side, tears. Chamara, I could not see him where he was, and I was alone. But this lady kept me up all the time with scripture after scripture on the phone till my battery was dead. I think she kept it. She kept up the whole night from 11 to 5 o'clock in the morning and that day to add to my tribulation a case day I had to go to Mount Lavinia courts to appear in the district court case so my mind is not at all settled down to, to, to go to court so I spoke to Vijula my good friend and I said Vijula here I am going through lot of lot of problems and then she said, don't worry, pray, I will look after you. You don't need to come. I will look after. Actually, these are great, great people that we have found in our life. You can see my old wife, the whole couple here. This is again at the regencies in January. You know, uh, these are great times during tribulation. But, uh, you know, we still have to thankful to God. God has given us good times and God is giving us good times and God is going to give us better times ahead. I believe that's going to come up even though 
uh, when you look at worldly, uh, it seems that the things are really, really uh, happening badly. Uh, in that May uh, 2014 time, another disaster happened. Uh, I do this tuition with another business school. They are the people who are getting me the students. They had a mis misunderstanding with me. One student, you know, they were not their students. They have come with a different name. I had taken him on a private basis without knowing that it's the same student. These people came to know. They blocked my email. They blocked my Skype and no more tuition. Now, I was wondering what's happening because I thought that was manna from God. And now the manna is also stopping. So I wrote to them several times, but no response. And uh, so uh, here expenditure story now, <coughs> company in trouble, tuition also, which I thought is going to be something that come from God, that is also stopped. It was really testing period. It was really testing period. God took us through that testing all over. Uh, so we knew uh, that things are going to be very, very tough. But I did not actually, till today, I did I had not shared that part of the story even with my own son or my family, with anyone, because I thought they will really get disturbed because that was the only source of income we had. And now that is also stopping. But praise God, misunderstandings were cleared up and somewhere in August, they opened up. But May, June, July, August, no income from tuition. And that was shattering. Here, the expenses are very, very heavy. So uh, anyway, I just went on praying. That's all I could do. I knew I had to seek God all the time. And I just went on praying before God, knowing that I need God in every single moment of my life. And they came back again. They asked me, can I start tuition? I said, yes, because I always believe I need to be humble. I want to be that Naaman seven times bending. Not seven times, even seven times seven, I'm prepared to bend. I'm in a, in a mission to save my daughter's life. So uh, there were a lot of prayer support coming up from all the people. The Ravatavata Methodist Church, Deusya uh, Sevava, the Lalit Pereira's community, Reverend Lais Singh De Silva, I want to mention him in a very special way. He and Sister Deepthi visited uh, several times see Dinusha at the hospital. So uh, these were great, uh, great uh, people that we had. By this time we had a change in the superintendent minister of Ravatavata, Reverend Anil De Silva, one of my old friends. Uh, he took over as the superintendent minister of uh, Ravatavata Methodist Church. So he was the, formerly he was the Methodist Church superintendent minister at Ma Mathera. So I have worked with him, uh, you know, with finance and all that. So he knew me. He knew me much, much more better, probably than Reverend Noel Fernando. So his coming was a great blessing. And he supported us in a mighty way. I want to pay a big, big tribute to Reverend Anil De Silva, the present superintendent minister of Rawatavatta Methodist Church. His, uh, uh, his, he, he really uh, started visiting us and he really started, uh, you know, uh, uh, praying uh, for Inusha. But I must never forget Reverend Noel Fernando. Reverend Noel Fernando um, uh, was a different kind of a priest. He is not, the, you know, the outgoing uh, kind of a person, but a very simple, humble man. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he, he did his part of the thing in his own way. He did it. Uh, he visited me in the prison. He did all that. I'm very, very thankful to Reverend Noel Fernando and also to uh, his wife, Ahsoka, a simple, humble lady. So uh, uh, this was in May 2014, a lot of trouble uh, in and out of the hospital. You just come, she can't breathe, again we take her. You come home, she can't breathe, we take her. Uh, this time I remember uh, principal of ladies college came to know that Dinusha is sick and she has informed the chaplain, Reverend Melvin De Silva, another great servant of God. 
and immediately she he gave me a call and he came to the hospital and started praying with dinusha so there was i mean the church was united the church was united catholic priest anglican priest methodist priest everyone started coming and praying with uh, dinusha uh, i think pro reverend as in de silva uh, reverend nasiri pereira came to know about dinusha's sickness and uh, but uh, i think he got uh, shamila reverend nasiri pereira's wife to speak to roshini and i think she uh, she had a prayer time with dinusha so we are thankful to shamila for praying with dinusha because dinusha drew in the lap of reverend nasiri pereira i would have sincerely liked if reverend nasiri pereira has visited to uh, see her at last at least to uh, have a prayer over phone but anyway we are very thankful to god for shamila's intervention prayer and we believe god will bless them and uh, we believe i need god in every single moment of my life and the battle today it's a heavy battle day 6th of march i can say it's a heavy heavy battle day uh, we are going through this day with a lot of uh, feelings lot of emotions we know that it is a tight one so my dear brothers and sisters the battle has begun in 2014 it is continuing in 2015 but i will share the balance part of 2014 in my next episode the 22nd till such time god bless you and let this testimony for all for glory of our savior jesus christ amen